Let's talk about the brown scapular. Uh, I see this thing all the time. I see people wearing it, and I think, what a grief. What, uh, first of all, I see it hanging from their rearview mirrors and everything, and I'm thinking, well, how come they don't have it on, you know, since it's supposed to have this magical protection? Okay, according to the story, which is an, I'm sure it's not a myth, I'm sure it's more of a demonic uh, apparition, a demonic deception, Our Lady appeared to St. Simon Stock in 1261 to say that whoever wears this, whoever dies clothed in this scapular, shall not suffer eternal fire. Now, when that came down, okay, everybody should have revolted and said, wait a second, hold on a minute, the Bible says whoever believes in him will not be condemned. Okay, faith in Christ keeps you from eternal fire, not wearing some good luck charm or amulet. Uh, folks, this is sheer unadulterated voodoo. Okay, this is not Christianity, this is voodoo. I'm going to call it what it is. I don't mean to be cruel, but I wonder sometimes if there's anything that the church could teach that would be so outlandish that Catholics would say, wait a second, no, I can't go for that. That's absurd. If anything, it should be this. This is nonsense. Okay? Our lady said this? First of all, what right does this supposed lady have to come and tell uh, new doctrines, different gospels? The gospel is faith in Christ saves you from the wrath of God. Our Lady says you got to wear this little brown cloth. Okay, who do you believe? And of course, we have a picture of Mel Gibson, that pillar of mental health, uh, wearing it. And what's amazing about this is that I, the Catholic Church has always taught doctrines of demons. Okay, like abstaining from marriage, uh, uh, forbidding, uh, forbidding to marry, abstaining from meats, you know, other mediators one head of a church, masses, uh, purgatory, all these things are doctrines of demons. However, this one it takes the cake. The devils revealed to Francis of Yepes, the brother of St. John of the Cross, so we're basing this on doctrines of demons now, literally doctrines of demons coming from their mouths. It's not that demons can't tell the truth, they have on a few occasions, but only when it was not to, you know, to Jesus, to, uh, they confessed to the seven sons of Sceva who were trying to cast out demons in Jesus' name, who Paul preaches, and they told them, well, we know him, we know Paul, but who are you? And then they beat the tar out of him. Uh, it's kind of an amusing story, actually, in Acts, uh, because of uh, the way it turns out. But um, uh, the, the, the demons apparently revealed to somebody here. I can just picture them doing this, okay, or this because they would be perpetuating, uh, they would be promoting their own agenda, which is to damn as many people as possible, by teaching this very thing. Listen to what they supposedly said. Three things especially torment them. The name of Jesus, okay, I can believe that. The, the name of Mary, what, you know? Any, any belief in any foundation for this whatsoever, no. And the third, the brown scapular of Our Lady of Carmel, not Carmel. Take off that habit, they cried to him, which snatches so many souls from us. All those who die clothed in it, die piously and escape us. Okay, so they say that snickering behind their backs, no doubt, and uh, people think, wow, we can be saved from eternal fire and beat the demons by wearing this brown cloth. No, my friends, the Bible is clear on this. Faith in Christ saves you from the wrath of God, translates you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Those who believe in him will not be condemned. That's what the Bible says. Now, it ought to be that you should have the discernment to see that if anybody comes, as Paul said in Galatians, uh, even uh, an apostle or even an angel with another gospel, let him be accursed. This is a demon that sent this thing, okay? And it should be accursed, and you should know that, because that's what the Bible says. All right, she says, get this, Our Lady, who's always talking a lot about herself, you know, wear it devoutly and preservingly. It is my garment. To be clothed in it means you are continually thinking of me, and I, in turn, am always thinking of you and hoping and helping you to secure eternal life. First of all, we don't need help securing eternal life because we have it. Eternal life has been granted. The Bible says that Jesus, by one offering, has perfected forever those that are being sanctified. Okay, We're, we're perfected. We're saved completely to the uttermost is the word the Bible uses. She's going to help us obtain eternal life? Only Jesus can do that, and it's instantaneous justification. Also, to be thinking of me, she says. Okay, 
Do you, are you really supposed to be going around thinking of Mary? I got news for you. We are the bride of Christ. We are betrothed to him. We are going to marry him. He is our bridegroom. Okay, we're not supposed to be devoted to anyone else spiritually. That is adultery. Okay, we are single-mindedly fixed on him. Every thought in captivity to the obedience of Christ. Okay, that's where our thoughts are supposed to be. Uh, we are supposed to set our affections on things above where Christ sits at the right hand of the Father. We are supposed to, uh, uh, the Bible says, he is our life. Not he's a part of our life or this pantheon of saints somehow between us and him. No, he is our life. Okay, that's what the Bible says. All of this is voodoo. It is superstitious nonsense. I'm going to call it what it is. You've got to renounce these things and turn to Christ alone. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I've got to say what I've got to say. You know? And listen to this. Pope Benedict XIV, addressing seminarians in Rome. Let all of you have a common language and a common armor. The language, the sentences of the gospel. Now, I know the popes don't have any idea what the real gospel is, but if they did, that would be a good saying. I Totally. Everybody preach the gospel. The common armor, the scapular of the Virgin of Carmel, which you ought to, uh, which you ought to wear and which enjoys the singular privilege and protection after death. Um... We don't need protection after death if we're saved already. Okay, we are protected. We are translated from darkness to the kingdom of light. Uh, that is a done deal in Christ. Um, the common armor. We're supposed to have the armor of God. We're supposed to have the the shield of uh, faith and the sword of the spirit and the helmet of salvation and uh, the breastplate of righteousness and all that. Okay, none of this. None of this is. Christian in any way, shape, or form. It is demonic, it is cultic, it is, it's voodoo. Let's call it what it is. Okay, everybody, everybody, I urge you all, get rid of these idols, get rid of these trinkets and amulets, stop saying chants and incantations and rosaries and things like that, and turn to Jesus Christ alone. Okay, that's, that's the best, offer, uh, best advice I can give you. Mm -hmm.